Flour is a staple in many households, but what happens when it goes bad or you simply have too much of it? The good news is that you can compost flour and it's a great way to reduce waste while creating nutrient-rich soil for your plants. All types of flour can be composted, including wheat flour, almond flour, buckwheat flour, chickpea flour, coconut flour, and rice flour. However, it's important to note that you should only compost flour in unbleached paper bags. If the bag has a plastic lining or is bleached, it should be thrown away. Flour is classified as a brown material in composting due to its high carbon content. As such, it's a great filler to add to your compost heap, but be sure to mix it well and add it sparingly to avoid attracting pests. While flour is beneficial to the soil, too much nitrogen can be toxic to plants. Gardeners should consider the soil's nitrogen balance before applying flour to the soil. It's also important to sprinkle flour lightly on the soil rather than dumping it, as too much flour can clog the pores of the leaves and suffocate the plants. Flour can also be added to a worm bin, but it should be used sparingly. Adding too much flour can turn into large lumps that are impenetrable to the worms. The lifespan of flour ranges from 3 to 6 months, depending on the type of flour. If you have expired flour, don't throw it away. Instead, you can use it for various purposes such as making insect repellent, homemade glue, or cleaning stainless steel.